This is the Aozai 15.6 inch portable monitor. And look, if you're on a budget, this monitor is one to consider. What is going on everybody? Welcome back, MTG here with another episode. If you're new to the channel, hi there. Today, I want to give you guys my experience on the portable monitor. But I first want to thank Aozai for reaching out and giving me the chance to check out the monitor. I've been using this for the past three weeks and especially for its price, it has impressed me. But if you aren't subscribed, I'd really appreciate if you can smash that subscribe button, give the video a thumbs up, and turn on the bell notifications as it does help out the channel a lot and will push my content out to more people and so we can get to our next goal of 10,000 subscribers. Anyway, let's dive right in. For me, this monitor was all about gaming and media consumption. The Aozai monitor features a 15.6 inch 1920 by 1080 IPS panel that actually is visually appealing. I thought the display wouldn't be that good mainly to keep the cost down, but nope, I was wrong. The IPS display delivers richer colors that help with eye fatigue and I definitely second that. It also supports HDR videos as well as a built-in speaker for watching videos or playing games. The built-in speaker, however, doesn't get too loud, but thankfully you can set up external speakers if needed. It's also good to know that the monitor also comes with a fair amount of ports such as two USB-C ports and a mini HDMI port. This means that whether it's a gaming system or my phone, you won't have any issues with connecting to the monitor. Oh, and for those gamers or anyone looking for a high refresh rate display, I am sad to say that the monitor is capped at 60 Hz, so no high refresh rate. But like I said earlier, the vibrancy on the screen still makes it fun to use. Instead of watching YouTube videos on my phone, I've been connecting my phone to the monitor via USB-C and have been consuming my media that way while I continue to write my voiceovers for my videos or other work for the channel. I like to have some background video when I'm working so that I can also watch once in a while and having a monitor like this one helps me get through that. Now what's useful is that the monitor comes with a screen protector and protective case stand in the box. I've mainly been playing Call of Duty Mobile on this as it's still the only mobile game I frequently play. I do have my Nintendo Switch and while I do play Pokemon Sword on that, I still need to catch up on the Crown Tundra DLC which I'll probably end up playing after this school semester ends. There is one issue that I came across when trying to connect my Switch to the monitor. Turns out I actually need the dock to connect my Switch to the monitor and that ultimately kills the entire concept of a portable monitor. And I think this is the case with other portable monitors too, you do need your Nintendo Switch dock. That is mainly why I've been using the monitor to connect my phone and laptop. Anyway, it's important to keep in mind that in the end, this is a budget monitor, so don't expect like super high quality gaming performance or anything like that. All in all though, playing games and watching YouTube videos for me was more than enough to use this monitor. Oh, and one last thing to note, since it's portable, you might be wondering how does it fit in a bag or if it's light, and no surprise here, but if it's perfectly fine in a bag and it's obviously super light. Carrying the monitor shouldn't be a problem and hopefully when things start to ease down, which hopefully they do, I think I said hopefully twice, but hopefully they do, this monitor will become more of use, especially during long flights, business meetings, or even long car rides. If you're on the lookout for a portable monitor, the Aozai monitor is definitely one to consider, especially for 180 bucks. The colors are vibrant even though it's an IPS panel. It's so easy to connect my laptop or my phone to the monitor, which easily makes the experience better. Now, I don't know how often you're on the go, but in the end, it's portable, and the ease of picking it up and bringing it with you is also a factor if you're out on the watch for a portable monitor. Budget-friendly plus media-oriented equals a sweet package. Thank you, Aozai, once again for making this video possible. Anyway, everybody, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, be sure to superman that like button, comment down below, because with the more interactions we get on this video, not only helps the video and the channel, but also pushes the video out to more viewers. And best of all, superman that subscribe button. Until next time, everybody, and until next video, this is MTG.